Welcome back to Sundays with Solana. Today I am going to make lasagna. This was a recipe that I got about 20 years ago when I went to Italy and we toured the Barilla factory. And prior to this, I didn't even like making lasagna because I always felt it was a lot of trouble to boil the noodles. And, um, and if I used the kind that were no boil, uh, I didn't like the texture. When I got this recipe, it changed my whole view of lasagna. Now I love making it and I love eating it. And I use, of course, Barilla's oven ready lasagna, so no boil. But I don't use the recipe on the back. I use the recipe that I got 20 years ago. So come over to the table and I'll show you how easy this is and, and you'll see how delicious it is when you make it. And here we are, back and ready to start our lasagna. First thing, Preheat the oven to 375, and while that's working, we're going to put a cup of tomato sauce in the bottom here of the lasagna pan. Get it nice and even there. Good. And then we're going to layer four of these no boil lasagna sheets and they will overlap a little bit and that's absolutely fine. There you have it. Okay, now I have two eggs and 16 ounces of ricotta cheese. So I'm just going to beat the eggs very quickly and then put it in with the ricotta and then I'm going to put half a cup of Romano cheese, which I grated myself. Here it is. And then I'm going to mix this mixture up. So we have the ricotta cheese here, two eggs, and also two cups of, of mozzarella cheese, all mixed in, and this will be in, in, layered in. And now I'm going to put some of the mozzarella on top of that, actually a cup, just sprinkle that over. This is just whole milk mozzarella that I just chopped up myself. And I, you always want to get that cheese that you just shred yourself or chop up yourself, because if you get it already shredded, it, there's more ingredients than just cheese and it doesn't melt as well. Okay, and then we'll follow with a cup of tomato sauce. Again, just put that right on top there. And then I'm just going to spread that a little bit more, right? And now we're ready to put the next four sheets of pasta. So see, it's just a matter of having all of your ingredients ready and then just layering, okay? And now we want to have another third of the ricotta cheese. And now I'm going to put another third of the ricotta mixture on top of here. Just a little bit more. And just spread it around like that. And now I'm going to put one and a half cups of the tomato sauce top. Make sure to go to the edges. There we go. And we're going to spread that a little bit. There we go. And then make sure again that it goes all the way to the edges there. And 
And now, four more lasagna noodles overlapping, and the rest of the ricotta mixture. And now I'm going to put the remaining cup of sauce here. Again, go to the edges, spread it out. There we go. And then I'm going to put the last of the noodles. And a little bit more of the sauce that's left. You use your judgment. And the foam is so covered. And now I'm going to put the last of the mozzarella. I like to slice the mozzarella like this. So it makes a pretty presentation when I take it out. There we go. Just so now we're ready to put it in the oven and this will bake for 50 to 60 minutes. And when it comes out, you'll let it rest. This is my grandchildren's favorite meal and it is also good the next day for lunch. It's a winner. So I'll be back to show you the finished product. We're back with the finished lasagnas. Here's the one that I showed you how to make and then I made an extra one because everyone wants seconds with this tasty recipe. I hope you enjoy it and I'll put a screenshot of the recipe in the YouTube short. And I would appreciate it if you would like and subscribe. And until I see you again next week with another great recipe, God bless you.